Kyle, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aries. <clears throat> now, this will be for the second half of June 2023. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. And if you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, though, it's a general reading. It is not going to suit everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also remember, time can be fluid and energy can be vice versa. All right, scary. I feel like you need to manifest. There's that saying about um, turning lemons into lemonade. I feel like you've had some struggles um, in your life and... I feel like you you need to turn those lemons into lemonade. In other words, I feel like you also need to learn. You need to get through them. Like if some struggle comes through, you know, you're you're strong enough to kind of get through that. And if you need help, you know, you can pray, you can reach out, you can ask to you know get some get some assistance so i feel like in whatever situation you're in turn those lemons into lemonade you've definitely got some insecurities but i feel like you're growing so you are working on more yourself um and it's funny these two cards came out and they were both the ones that i just looked at on the bottom interesting um I feel like you've been part of your growth and this broken heart with the insecurity up here is you've been with people who were deceptive. They call them trickery, but, you know, a snake is pretty much a snake. Um, you've released it. And if you haven't, you will. That's, you know, going to cause you emotional pain, heartbreak, like it says in that picture. Um, you know, obviously you're going to go through a period of grief. Um but there's something that's destined to happen and I feel like it's to do with your life purpose. Maybe there's something that you need to be doing um, and it's destined for you. Some sort of service, maybe you, I don't know, if it's, say, spiritual, may, maybe you see spirits and that's your service to other people you know you can help people by by doing that so can you see what i'm saying it's like some sort of um maybe you just want to help elderly people towards the end of their their life you know um something like that whatever this is it's service to people you're helping others um and that is definitely going to be destined here because you've got destiny down there as well so, yeah, you've got a bit going on. Let's see what else. And then more for Aries. Second half of June. You might be overspending. For some of you, you may be thinking about relocating, buying a new house, um, traveling, something like that. Um, but I do feel like your financial health is not so great. So maybe you need to watch your spending. Um, the travel card can also be about you moving to a better situation in the tarot. So I want to say that you could have had a financial loss um, in a situation. Maybe you were in a relationship that where, with this, you know, person that was doing the trickery. Um, and now you've, you've had this lost finances or you've had some sort of lost opportunity and you've had to relocate. You've had to move away from a situation. Um, and it doesn't even mean relocate necessarily. It just means moving away from that situation. 
moving to like calmer waters as such. I don't feel like you're going to want to go back to that situation either with reconciliation and reverse. So I feel like that situation is, is done. You're definitely releasing um, baggage as well from that situation. Um, got reinvention in reverse oh. your commitment in reverse and compromise in reverse so there was a lack of compromise there was a lack of commitment pretty obvious um, this person could have been um, seeing other people, they could have, because there was a lack of commitment and a lack of compromise. So maybe there was also third party involved. I haven't seen that yet, but I'm just saying could have been. Doesn't have to be everyone's story. Um, there's something that they didn't want to compromise on. So whatever that was, it could have been, as I said, some sort of third party, doesn't have to have been. Um, could have been something that they didn't want to give up, but they had to. Like it was something that there was, there needed to be a compromise. They didn't want to make it. Um, and that could have been regarding this commitment. Um, but I feel like whoever this, it could have been you or your person, somebody doesn't or isn't like reinventing themselves, isn't, I feel like more so they're not working on themselves. Um, I feel like part of this compromise is you expected this person to be a certain person, certain type of person, do certain things, whatever this is. Um, and I feel like they didn't want to. It was like, I'm not changing for anyone. That kind of attitude is what I'm getting. Um, so, yeah, whether you, you wanted this person to be that commitment person you wanted them to uh, be your forever person and you thought they could be and they were like look I don't want that I don't want to have the compromise I don't want to be committed I don't want to be held down I don't want to have to become that person when I'm not that person can you see where I'm, where I'm going with this Tell me more. Yeah, look, lack of unity. So no commitment, like I said. You're not, you're not together. Um, you've got dragonfly in reverse, the sun, coffin in reverse, and the judgment. So let's start with the dragonfly. The dragon, the dragonfly is. I don't, when, when I talked about prayer, I don't know if you have some sort of connection to spirit or believe in anything, um, but I also feel like you, you haven't been in a really good place and, I, and that could have been because, you know, you wanted this person to be whatever person, this type of person, and that never happened. Um, they're telling you, though, to, with the sun card, the sun card is like the best card in the tarot, but in your case, I'm feeling more, I mean, it is good, but it's like you need to open your heart to the enormous growth that because this is all teaching you something and maybe it's self-worth, maybe it's, you know, what you're willing to accept you can't change a person, you know, they have to want to be that type of person. You can't change them um, and you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't have to. And it could also be about your connection to spirit, really. 
whatever this is it's like it's all making you grow i mean it's up to you whether you choose to grow from this but you can um you you're I feel like a person that doesn't want to end things, you hold on to things longer than maybe what you should. Um, you've got to be careful of your health because it causes a lot of stress and stress is not good for anyone. Um, so I do feel like you need to let go of situations. Maybe you need to work on your codependency, um, letting go of situations that, you know, they're hanging around for way too long. If they're not meant to be in your life, like get rid of them. Um, just give me one second. I thought I'd try and move the camera down a little bit so you can kind of see. Um, yeah, and the, and the judgment card. I mean, that's all about um, maybe doing some soul searching, maybe getting some clarity. Um, making a final decision you know what this person is not going to or isn't who i had hoped they would be you know this person needs to go um i'm okay being on my own you know that kind of like you need to make a decision um some sort of wake up call i do feel like if you need to you can um you could always keep a diary, keep a journal, you know, write down your thoughts, you know, really do some soul searching because I do feel like there's a bit you need to work on um, to help you grow. That will help you, you know, evolve. Um, let's see what else we get. Tell me more for Aries, the second half of June. Part of, um, I think part of it is also you need to change the way you see things. You need to change your perspective. You know, you may feel like if someone leaves you that you're abandoned, right? Now, the truth is you're not. You're not abandoned. You know, in the end, it just means this person wasn't for you and there means there's someone better coming. And maybe you got out of a situation and that's a good thing. Like if this person or people, could be people, weren't committed just because you tried to change them doesn't mean that they're going to become this all of a sudden very committed person. So by them walking away or them leaving your life, it's not you, you're not, they're not abandoning you. In the end, you deserve someone who is committed to you. So I feel like, like you really got to change your perspective on how you look at things because in the end, you want your person, right? You don't want to have somebody who, as I said, is not committed. And I mean, I see these situations also, there's conflict because you're trying to change this person. There's, um, I feel like somebody, you know, they're not going to return. They, they're not sorry for whatever happened. Um, but yeah, there's definitely incompatibility. There's. There's conflict of some description, there's differences, clashing, whatever. Um, but yeah, this person, I mean, it's like with the travel card, there needs to be distance, there needs to be space there, you know. Um, like if you live in the same house, maybe one of you needs to, to go, something like that. Um, But yeah, this is this is over. This is like this needs to go. Someone is not committed. People are not committed. Whatever this is for you, it needs to be over with. 
and really, you know, realize your own self-worth, self-love, you know, see, see you for the beautiful person you are. Um, I said, oh, look what I just noticed on the bottom. Remember when I said about there could have been a third party? Influences. So there could have been people influencing this person and their behavior in this relationship or whatever this was. Um, but this person could have also been very unstable. Um, or it could have affected you, like triggered you if you've got mental health issues. Um, but there were definitely people or things influencing this whole situation. Interesting. I did say that. Um, I do think, though, and I know I've mentioned this to you guys before, and that's about not just having um, or not just wanting a, a relationship or whatever for the passion. There needs, it needs to be about more than that. It needs, like, stop, maybe stop giving away sex so easily. See, make sure someone's interested, that kind of thing. Um, for other people, though, I do feel like there is somebody watching you. Um, maybe even on social media, maybe in person. Hopefully you're not being stalked in person, but somebody is really interested um, in you. Tell me more about this. Yeah, you've got to stop the, the not enough feeling. Um, there's no communication. So maybe this is going to be either someone new. Well, this could be the person. This could just be that you gave up sex too easily with this person. Um and that you know either you're watching them or they're watching you um but no one's saying anything anymore yeah there's no catching up for coffee there's no talking there's no anything i think someone's just happy being single interesting All right, let's get some tarot. See what else is going to come out. Second month of June for Aries. The shock came up on this deck a minute ago on the bottom when I quickly looked the shock card was there which is pretty much the same as the tower so that's interesting yeah financial loss like I said look this person is definitely not your person I mean there's definitely been some sort of breakup you're working on your finances and also remember when I talked about prayer and this is about you maybe you know, looking at your spiritual life, you know, um, do you have any beliefs? Do you pray? Do you manifest? Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's all that sort of stuff. Knowing that you are strong and if you need help, reach out and ask, like I said, with the prayer card. Um, you've definitely been through some sort of loss and it's caused you to be heartbroken. It could have been a very toxic person. A toxic relationship um, it could also have they could have also had some sort of addiction or 
they were tempted with something you know there could be many things it's going to be different for different people but whatever this was it caused you heartbreak um but yeah they're telling you to keep the faith keep having hope and you know part of that is manifesting and also you know maybe pray to the universe spirit whoever god whoever you believe in all right so let's start with whatever's on the table so this is definitely regarding your partnerships and as i said third party um it could very well be you you want to reap rewards though you want you know if you're putting in time and effort in a situation you want to have rewards from these situations um a return on investment you know you want to be happy you want the person that's going to support you you know and there be an equal give and take you know um tell me more about this Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. Mm. I feel like you're needing to, you've had a lot of like kind of clouded judgment when it comes to these people. And I feel like that could even be your, um, what's it called? Codependency. Um, you feeling like you need to have somebody but i feel like you need to realize you're okay on your own it's nice you know you want this person that's going to be there for you and give you this support and um but you're always in a place of waiting for these people to become who you want um yeah you you have high standards for what you want and there's nothing wrong with that you know um who doesn't but i do feel like you really need to see the truth in a situation and maybe you're going to start getting clarity about these people um that you know you're seeing that you know what you shouldn't have to change a person to be committed to you you know what i'm saying like these people should want to commit to you they should want to support you and you know pull you up when you're down and you know all those things um but definitely you need to have some self-respect. You need to have some self-confidence. Work on you because, yeah, why are you allowing this to happen? All right. Um, yeah, as I said, they're not fulfilling your wishes. And, but you're, I feel like you've been in a place of um, anxiety, depression, you think about things all the time, like it's obsessively thinking about things they said, things they did, why didn't they do this, why didn't they do that, why did they do that, you know, like it's like an overactive mind. So you might even be having trouble sleeping, which makes a lot of sense because I feel really tired. So yeah, it's never, it's, they're not going to lead to your happily ever after. Um, and I feel like you need to trust your intuition when it comes to, you know, love. Because they're not going to lead where these are not giving you your wishes fulfilled. Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups, both in reverse. Like these people just don't want commitment. Um... So, yeah, there's always a towel moment. Something happens and then suddenly it all changes. Tell me more about the tower. There is. These people are either players. Yeah, these people are juggling. And if it's not them, it's you. So take as resonates. But for me, this whole reading is they don't want to commit. So take this as resonates. If this is you, whatever. But I do feel like in this situation, from all the other cards, I feel like this is them. They don't want to commit. They're not committing to you. They're not giving you what you want. They're like either. 
um, and yet they're not prioritizing you and they're seeing other people. Like there's other people involved, like I said. Because you've got King of Pentacles in reverse, you've got a Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. They're just juggling way too many things. It's like they want their party lifestyle and they want to do what they want. There's also this financial loss. So even if um, for some of you, you lose money every time you get into these relationships or you've been through multiple, like, losses and it's all the same thing. These people are not committed. Hmm. Oops. Yep, third party, three of cups. They're too busy going out with their friends. They're too busy partying. They're too busy, you know, they want a different lifestyle than what you want. Um, and with the five of pentacles, it's also like financial loss. But you're... You're needing to work on your finances and, and work on um, getting money back, focusing on your, you know, maybe you need to go and work and you have these dreams, these um goals in life you have these these things that you want to have happen and I feel like you could even be getting a new job working on these working on getting your finances back um, I do feel like though these personal goals you're also They're not giving you them. <coughs> you do fear the unknown, right? You know that you want love in your life. But you keep having all these losses. I don't feel like you pay attention, though, to your intuition. Um, I feel like that's important. You do need to pay attention. Um, because I feel like even though, you know, I mean, first of all, you, you should know, you don't have to change someone to be committed to you. Like, you shouldn't have to do that, you know what I mean? Um, you need to work on manifesting what you want. And look, there's this freaking devil partying, sleeping around person. And there you are again in anxiety, but at the same time, not wanting to walk away. As I said to you, you're holding on to these situations and I don't know why. You're resisting the change. You feel like there's all this unfinished business. You see everybody as being your person. It's like you've got King of Swords and Queen of Swords, but I just feel like that's what you're hoping. Yeah, you're stalling, letting something go. It's the same message. You're just, you're not wanting to let something go. And that comes back to more codependency, more not wanting to be alone. Um, yeah. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Aries. Um, I... Hope that resonates and I'll catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.